Give, Send, Go founder and CFO, Jacob Wells, joins us now. Jacob, welcome to the show. Quick question for you. Your site has raised over $8 million for the truckers. Have they received any of that money? At the moment, yes, they have. Um, and there's actually a couple campaigns in regards to those truckers up there. And yes, funds have flown uh, to, those, to those campaign owners. So you say the Canadian government has no jurisdiction over your company. Are you appealing it? Are the truckers appealing it? What's the next step here? They definitely are appealing it there, but uh, the funds uh, primarily at this point are here in the United States. They're completely not frozen, and there are a wide variety of methods for us to get them to them. Um, but yes, the, the convoy is appealing it and going through that legal process up there. So how, how do you plan to get the money to them? We are looking at a wide variety of options. Okay. Um, all legal options are on the table, and um, we're, we're coming up with some creative things. So it's going to be an interesting uh, couple of weeks. Now, your competitor, uh, GoFundMe, a lot of Americans didn't realize that they were so ideological. So apart from the money that your company has raised, the $8 million for the truckers, have you seen, uh, you know, consumers uh, of this kind of philanthropy moving over to your site? Are you seeing a huge increase in traffic? apart from the tracker stuff? Oh, in absolutely incredible. I mean, I think that this, this was a huge PR uh, mistake by GoFundMe. Mm -hmm. Our platform is booming. We haven't seen this much business. Um, I mean, last year we grew incredibly. This year, the same pace is on 100% month over month. It's absolutely astounding. People are vowing to never use GoFundMe again um, because of the ideological stances that they're taking. We take a neutral position. We allow people to fundraise, period. Yeah. Yeah, I know that I would never use GoFundMe after that. I just think what they tried to do and what they did do was outrageous. Now, there's a, a an economist, his name is Arthur Brooks, who did a study on conservatives, on, on philanthropy, and showed that conservatives are more generous, um, individual conservatives are. So that ought to be helping your side as well, Jacob. Completely. Well, we've seen this campaign actually pass $9 million, 9.2, almost $9.3 million. And the average amount per donation is actually about 30% higher than what it was on GoFundMe. So we see our givers giving more. I think they're passionate all across the board. Definitely uh, a, a boom for our business. Quick question. You have the bandwidth to cover to, to keep up the pace with all of this increase in traffic? Yeah, we brought on some extra teams, uh, a team called Right Forge as well, to help build out this infrastructure even faster. We've got a, a whole ton of incredible, incredible initiatives that we're rolling out to even decentralize our platform even more, more giving options, more receiving options. It's, it's going to be, there's a great future in front yeah. of us. I didn't even know about your company until this happened. So good for you, Jacob. Um, looks like GoFundMe made a big mistake. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>